Hey, what's going on guys? Killing Zombies here back with another video, and today we're going to be checking out an Italian 24-hour Armed Forces Combat Ration, Module A. This one we did a unboxing of a long while back, and I showed the contents and stuff, but I didn't do a taste review. So in this video, we're going to be doing the taste video of that. So, um, just for a little recap... Um, we got a production date of, I think that says 2016, so it is a little bit old. And backdated good supposedly till about 2018, so a two year shelf life. We're gonna see how that is five years later. Hopefully everything has, is still edible, but we're still gonna take precautions. So without further ado, let's get this opened up. Take all the contents out. Now, also, I want to mention the, um, the one partial of the ration ended up getting, um, exploded. That was the swing condensed milk, which I was, quite frankly, very upset about. Um, I think we are going to do this in kind of separate parts, so instead of doing... Uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner together. I think I'm going to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a bit easier, and I think it will work very well. So, this one we have sweet biscuits, jelly, that's orange taste, jelly, cher uh, jelly that is uh, cherry, sugar uh, concentrated milk, but that one we don't have, coffee, chocolate, sugar, and what is uh, this? Alright, so let's get this opened up. Uh, we'll put these to the side and we'll eat those later and we'll eat this now. So let's get this opened up and see what we got. Alright, got on the tray. Let's start looking at what we have in here. We have a trash bag for everything. Got some matches and a striker. Got our um, hygiene kit. Some chocolate, our sweet biscuits. Um, actually, these are not jellies; they are hard candies. So that's pretty cool. We have some water purification tablets and coffee. Probably gonna remove that because we don't need that now. Um, a cutlery kit. Toothpick, sugar, and it's probably salt. No? Yeah, that's salt. Don't know why we need salt in them in <laughs> breakfast. Got another one of those folding stoves. And we have some fuel tablets. And we have a couple more toothpicks for the other meals. So I will end up putting these back into the um, container because we do not need them right now as we speak. Unfortunately, the big thing that we wanted to taste, I cannot taste it because it's not, um, screwed. I'm gonna actually drink that. Don't want to, but for the sake of the video, I guess we're gonna just do it. And we don't need this either. All right, so let's get these opened up. Where did I put my blade? Because these don't seem like they're going to open. So we got sweet biscuits. Five years old. Will they still be good? I don't know. They definitely did not have their shape at all. Kind of unfortunate. That's probably why they didn't add that, because it'd be much more easier to eat. It had that kind of stale graham top per smell to it. We have that chocolate bar. Ooh, it's got some very big bloomage to it, so that might not be exactly the greatest chocolate we're gonna have, but it's okay. 
oxidization's all good. And we got our candies. Get four of those. Oh, they are soft. Okay. Well, that's a good thing because if these were hard candies, unfortunately, I would not be eating them. I absolutely do not like hard candies. So, that's pretty much what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and get the hot water for the coffee. All right, we have our uh, hot water for our coffee. Um, I'm just gonna say this now. Um, I'm only doing the coffee because uh, it has nothing actually to do with the review. But there is a particular comment I get on pretty much every of my videos. Every time there's something coffee, drink wise related. And I mean, the. All right, I mean, ooh. Well, we're gonna have to check for mold or any of that stuff. Oh, it looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. And what we'll just add a little bit of that. And we'll add some sugar. And again, I do not drink coffee. So, really, this is pointless. It's not only a waste of coffee, but it doesn't matter what I do to it. The first time I had coffee, I tasted it. It was bad. I ended up adding probably about 10 to 15 tablespoons of sugar. And probably about a cup or so of um creamer that flavored creamer ring you buy and it was still bad so i'm going to just taste a little bit of this just to get out of the way just to show i do not like it whatsoever hmm like i said i don't really care for coffee it's just nasty don't matter what i do to it it's still gonna taste bad now this is a sweet biscuit. Mm. That is very stale. Um, the flavor of that is just, it's, it's terrible. It is so bad. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be drinking that coffee to wash it down. But that is bad. Um, tastes like a graham cracker that has gone bad. And it's very, 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 um, what's the word? Very stale. This one, I think, is the cherry uh, jelly fruit. Um, yeah, I think this might taste good. That's actually pretty damn good. And these are the orange one. Hmm. That actually tastes really good. Tastes like those fruit slices, but not as sweet. That's really good. And right, we're gonna try the orange one. It kind of looks like an orange. Yep, tastes just like orange. It's really good. And, I'm really looking forward to that chocolate. Now, you would think, after five years, you would think that these would either be liquidized 
or they would be um, absolutely nasty. Now, one thing that some people don't really uh, get is things that are like sugar, like hard candies or uh, those jelly candies. Those will last probably indefinitely, to be honest, I would have to say, because um, even like gum, I mean, gum pie will go bad at a long, long point, but I feel like those would be good for long storage, just except the heat. Mm. I don't know how you would tell by uh, bad chocolate, but I gotta say that um, flavor of the chocolate's kind of cheap. <laughs> that's if that's if that's uh, Italian chocolate, I feel very bad. <laughs> for the Italians. Um, we're going to try to finish this up. Probably gonna end up keeping those uh, candies for later, for lunch and dinner. And um, yeah, let me go ahead and finish this up and we'll be back with lunch. All right, we got our lunch. Looks like a ragu tortellini. We have a beef and jelly. Or a gel uh, gelatin. Um, got a fruit cocktail. Got our two crackers. And we have our cutlery kit. Now it did come with um, multivitamin tablets. And other tablets. Along with coffee and sugar. But we're not going to end up testing those. Because those are definitely out of date. And I just, I'm, I'm not going to risk that whatsoever. I'm just not going to go for it. So... Let's go ahead and get our um, tortellini out of the can. I'm going to heat these up in a separate bowl, which of which I'm going to use these bowls. Hopefully they fit, but we're going to use those bowls for them. So, the cocktail. Ooh, got some juices involved. Ooh, <laughs> that do not look good. Something still in the can. That's a lot of syrup. I do not need that much syrup. I'm gonna try to get as much of that. And we'll set that back here. We'll get that. I think, yeah, let's do the ragu. I'm really looking forward to this one because I love tortellini. Ooh. <laughs> Bet you it smells like Chef Wardy. It literally has no sm uh, smell other than. Chef Boardy. There's so much of it. To be fair with you, I'm probably going to eat this just cold because, in a way, I know everything tastes better when it's hot, but I'm sorry, I have to dig in for that real quick. That looks damn good. Wow. Yeah, I'm not heating that. I'm sorry. I know I know I'm gonna hear the comments. But this is good. It's already soft. Mmm. Chef Boy D, what are you doing? This is better. Mm. Soft. As um it's not bland. Actually, it doesn't taste bad at all. Quite nice. Of course, those for that don't like soft, mushy pasta, this is probably not going to be for you. This is not bad for me. 
and we'll check out that beef and jelly. Beef and jelly. This probably won't taste bad. Hmm. <laughs> what the heck is that? Hmm. Well, let's get that out onto the tray and see how that looks. All right, I put this into the uh, bowl, and I'm gonna just sit this and say that this something. Let's look like something you'd find in alien isolation. What is that? Now that is supposedly beef and jelly, or probably fat or gelatin, whatever. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Smell does not smell good at all. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. No. Nah. We're not eating that. That tastes like absolute crap. That tastes worse than all the damn pâtés, all of the uh, lunch meats I've had. Quite frankly, that is worse than the canned bacon you get in the Russian rations. I will stand by and say that. That is horrendous. I did have one commenter that told me that the Italian rations probably are the most disappointing rations of all and so far by now the only thing that has been edible is the um tortellini hopefully dinner will change my mind but this is crackers don't know what kind of crackers but just crackers So probably they look no different than the crackers from breakfast or sweet biscuits. Are these gonna also be stale too, or are we gonna be good? Oh my god! Oh my god! That is freaking. That is so stale. But I'm gonna eat this. Mmm. Well, good. <laughs> That's so good. Mm -mm -mm. So good, so good. Alright. Say that for later. And we'll, uh, Try this out, I guess. I don't want to. Ooh. That's just skin, I hope. Got some grapes. Mmm. Hold on, I gotta smell this. I wanna make sure. Bombs up. Doesn't taste bad. But it doesn't taste great. All those things are very mushy. Out of all the cocktails though I've had, I mean, they're, they're pretty still got that like chew to it in a way. But probably because of age, that is why I'm surprised. This so far is the only one. I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna eat it later. Heck, I might have that as dessert at uh, dinner time. So, lunch was kind of a fail. Hopefully dinner will be better. The only one where to find out. Alright, this is supper. Or what I would just call dinner. Uh, we got some tuna and olive oil. We got minestrone soup. We have two fruit bars. And we have some crackers. And a cutlery kit. And also the coffee and sugar that... Again, that's kind of disappointing. There's not a lot of drinks. So, soup. This is... From 2016. 
dated from 2019. Nice pop. We're gonna just do that. That would just be easier. Give it a little smell real quick. Mmm, hold on. It has a weird, like, metally taste to that. I do not know if that's going to be something we're going to eat. This is the uh, tuna and olive oil. I'm getting it all over the place. I'm not going to bother with them crackers because those crackers are no longer good. I don't know why these tears are never like terrible like they don't even work this is the fruit and cereal bar <laughs> doesn't really have any smell to it like it just smells just old and I do apologize for the background I'm just shoving the stuff in the garbage um I'm not gonna bother using a dash spoon and stuff. I'm gonna just use these. I'm gonna have to say, I'm starting to be very disappointed. Um, I was kind of looking forward to this, but I gotta say, maybe that B module might be different, but this is looking very uh, disappointing, I have to say the least. I'm gonna move to that t tuna fish first. That tuna. And oil, why would you even add oil on your tuna? Don't even get that. Just try that out. There's such a weird aftertaste with all these things. Heck, the freaking uh, napkins are like plastic. <laughs> Look at that. They're like shiny. Man, this is very disappointing. Oh my gosh. That minestrone, so peas, potatoes, beans. <clears throat> and this also has like an off smell to it. Don't know. Might just be me. I'm gonna try it out. Hmm. It's not bad, but it's not great. Also, I want to mention that tuna also had a very, like, metallic taste to it. Like, it's been sitting in the can for six years, ten years. It's not good. No bueno. Let's try that bar. And we will finish this meal up uh, with that cheese tortellini as dessert. Yeah, <clears throat> everything's just old. All right, I'm gonna come back to this bad boy right here, and I'm gonna just finish her off. I will see you guys back at recap and tell you my thoughts on this. All right, back with recap, guys. Hopefully, this video don't cut off on us. Um, Overall, this Armed Forces Italian ration was, quite frankly, probably one of the worst ones so far. Um, considering that I did not like really anything from it other than the candies. These jelly candies that I have are the only things along with that cheese tortellini with, I think, pieces of meat in it. That was the only thing out of the whole ration that I enjoyed. I would have liked to swing it into milk if I didn't bust it open because of my dumb self. But aside from that, everything else sucked. And I would stand there and say it. Um, just everything just tasted bad. Even if it was update, I'm sure I still wouldn't have liked it. It was just very disappointing. And hopefully the B module that we try might be better. I doubt it will be. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Um... 
As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel down below, turn on notifications, and miss out on future videos I post. And that's just I try it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day, guys.